Hey guys, Tony here, and I am going to uh, do a lesson today on the five different pentatonic boxes that it takes to connect your entire guitar neck. So there are five pentatonic boxes that go from open to the 12th fret, and then the exact same five are duplicated the rest of the way up the neck. Um, <clears throat> Uh, even though there are five pentatonic boxes, it's important to know that you're playing a lot of the same notes uh, from one box to the next. Um, so you don't always gain a whole bunch of new notes by jumping to a new box. The cool thing about the boxes is that because of the way the notes are laid out, some of the boxes lend themselves to different licks. They're easier for your fingers to do certain things. That's why the boxes come in handy. More important than that, um, knowing the boxes on your neck um, is like the most important thing I think that you could focus on e right now even more important than diatonic notes you know the full Ionian scales Aeolian and those types of things because once you know where the boxes are in any given key when you're learning a solo or uh, playing chords you can imagine what box is underneath the chord that's been playing uh, because you know the key and you know where the boxes are. So those five things will kind of help break down your neck. Um, so I think they're very valuable to learn. So let's start with uh, on the A here on the sixth string. We're going to start with pentatonic box number one, the one that everybody knows. So it's first finger pinky, first, third, first, third, first, third, first, third, first pinky, first pinky, back to the first. Next string, pinky first, third, first, third. First, third, first, pinky first. Now, what's cool about this box is it's going to tell us everything we need because the easiest way to find all five boxes on the guitar neck is to know the major and minor chords that those boxes are built on. At least that's the method that I use. So you'll need to know the major and minor name for each box. Uh, even though that pentatonic box won't change shape, where we've got it now, first finger on the A makes this an A minor pentatonic box. The pinky is on the C note here, which tells you that this is also a C major pentatonic box. So your pinky note tells you the major chord that you can play over, and your first finger tells you the minor chord. So for this particular box, I would call this a sixth string minor. Um, this first finger A, pinky C, the C major and the A minor are relative minor chords. That's the relative minor of C. Uh, so you want to understand what relative minor is so you know how to think of the major chord and the minor chord. If you don't know about that, just Google it. I'm sure there's tons of stuff. YouTube it. So the two chords you want to know is the major chord and the relative minor chord. So in this case, we're talking A minor and C major. Okay, so here's how you're going to find your uh, scale shapes. The minor chord, the sixth string minor, the minor chord you make the A minor based off the sixth string is going to be box one. Then, that's the minor chord on the 6th string. Then you want to move to the major chord on the 6th string, which is going to be C major. That moves you into this next position. So this major chord based on the 6th string, you'll use your second finger to start on that note, which is where your pinky was in box 1. Second finger starts on that note, and you're going to do box number 2. Uh, second pinky, first pinky, first pinky, first third, second pinky, second pinky, and then backwards. So that scale is based off of your sixth string major chord. Okay. The next scale is again going to be based off the pinky note, and that is box number three. Looks like this. want to end by coming back to that C note. I'm going to come back to box three because box three is just an in-between box. Uh, I still base it off the C note. I'll play the first two notes of box two, slide to box three, and then play box three. 
and then back to box two. So there's box three, it's based off of box two. Next one is box four. Well, that's the first time we're gonna switch to the fifth string now. We're gonna play our fifth string A minor chord. Same as this open A minor. The fifth string A minor chord is where box four is. So you're gonna move up to the sixth string, start with your first finger, the box shape looks like this. First pinky, first pinky, first third, first third, second pinky, first pinky, and then backwards. And then come back to that fifth string A. Okay? So that box four is a fifth string relative minor position. Then you go to the fifth string major chord, which in this case is a C major. So your fifth string C major is this bar, not this open C chord. You want a fifth string C major chord, basically your fifth string power chord. Right there is where box five, the last box is. So you're gonna move up and start this on the sixth string, uh, even though we're basing it off that fifth string note. And I would start with my second finger. Second finger pinky, second finger pinky, second first finger pinky, first finger pinky, first, third, first, third, and backwards. And go back and end on that C note. So you remember box five is based off of your fifth string major chord. Okay. So let's uh, run the same thing, all the boxes, let's change keys. We're going to change keys to E minor, and if you think of your E minor pentatonic box, the pinky note is the G. So the G is your major chord, the E minor is your relative minor chord. So we'll start with box one, six string minor, E minor. Then you move to the sixth string major, your G chord. Second finger starts on the G, you got box two. All right, G major. Box three, the in-between box, I'm gonna start on the G, first finger, third finger, slide into box three. Now you're in box three. back and end on that G note. All right, so that's box three. Okay, box four is now going to be the E minor that we played, but we're going to play E minor on the fifth string. Our little bar chord here. E minor on the fifth string is box number four. And go back to the fifth string, end on the E. Then we switch to uh, the relative major chord, which is G, and we're gonna play the G on the fifth string. There's our G power chord on the fifth string. That's where box five is. Move up onto the sixth string, box five. Go back, end on that G on the fifth string. Okay, so that's how you do it, guys. Find box one, figure out the minor chord from the first finger. In this case, it'd be A minor. Figure out the major chord from the pinky, C major. So you're looking for A minor on the sixth string, A minor on the fifth string. Then you're gonna look for C major on the sixth string, C major on the fifth string. And then know that the in-between box is number three that connects both sides. All right, good luck with that, guys. Um, awesome. If you are really into uh, progressing with your guitar studies and you'd really like to follow a methodical program, check out my website, guitarschoolofrichland.com. Go to the Guitar Lesson Tutorial tab, and you'll find my eBooks and our four-year guitar method listed there. It's called the Sisney Guitar Method. Check it out. Until then, we'll see you next week.